welcome to my very first uh, episode of separation of mixtures. Today we are going to be looking at um, paper chromatography. Uh, things we need in this experiment include a tissue paper, which is going to act as a chromatogram. We need water. We shall need a ruler, and this is going to act as our ruler. We need a ball pen that's going to be our source of um, ink. We shall cut out um, a chromatogram or a tissue paper like that. Then we make a mark which is going to be our very starting point onto this tissue paper. Then we add ink, which we are going to separate onto this tissue paper. We make sure that the concentration of ink is a bit high. So I'll make sure that my ink is concentrated enough. I'll put it at the starting point or the mark. Good. Um, I'm going to hold this tissue paper onto um, a ball pen and I will fasten it uh, using a small or a thin of uh, cell tape to prevent it from falling off. And I will insert my chromatogram into a beaker. I make sure that the line or the starting point does not touch the water which is going to be our solvent for today. So as you're seeing, our chromatogram is showing uh, different rates of movement of the components in blue ink. And um, the component that will move the greatest height will be the most soluble component in water. The component that will move the shortest distance will be the least soluble component in this blue ink. So you should think of um, things like which other examples of um, mixtures can be separated by the same method like we have demonstrated today. I've separated blue ink and uh, we are going to get to know the colors that are used to make blue ink. I would like you to also think about other mixtures which can be separated using the same method as described today. Um, after uh, the experiment, when no more substances can move, I'll remove my chromatogram. I will put it down to display the components. And I will be able to measure the distances traveled by each component. According to my to my chromatogram, I'm seeing a yellow color down, I'm seeing red, I'm seeing blue, and lastly I'm seeing green. So I'm having um, four different colors onto my chromatogram paper. I'm having yellow, red, blue, and green. And according to my chromatogram, green has moved the highest distance, therefore it has been the most soluble component in this solvent known as water. The least comp uh, soluble component will be yellow. It, um, the first part here would, is yellow. So because it has moved the shortest distance, yellow in blue, uh, in blue ink, 
is the least soluble component. So apart from blue ink, which other mixture can be separated by the same method? I thank you for viewing my video and I urge you to keep on subscribing onto my YouTube channel to get more of this. Thank you very much.